Hi guys, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are diving into a brand new MLM. Well, new for the channel, not necessarily new in the MLM industry, but we're diving into new MLM because I haven't seen a lot of content about this MLM and I wanted to just kind of casually talk about another weird scam that I've seen. In my opinion, that is, yeah, please stay away from this. And again, I love just making content in general so that way other people who are coming across can learn about new MLMs if they're just simply curious or they can come across a video like this if they are Googling the company so that way they can have all the information presented to them, which is super duper important with consumer education. So somebody actually sent me this MLM and I was really interested in this. This is called Lila Rose, which I'm not even kidding when I say this is the name of my dog. This is the name of my fur baby. I literally gave her a full name, Lila Rose Lanter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I got excessively icked out when I saw that there was an MLM called Lila Rose. One, I don't think it's spelled right. It's L-Y-L-A. So this is an MLM that is going on for quite some time now. And what are they all about? They are all about hair care products. They apparently have a company that has a bunch of hair clips and hair products that are supposed to be transformative and wonderful, the usual MLM shit, right? And so a lot of people are very enticed by this because one, it's really easy products to sell. For example, I would like to actually compare this a little bit to paparazzi because paparazzi is really similar to the concept of having pretty affordable multi-level marketing products, like more on the cheaper side as well and it's easier to sell and maybe not as intimidating per se as a $50 shampoo or a $100 supplement you know so with this it looks pretty simple in the sales category for most people so we are actually going to be diving into several different categories about this MLM for example we're going to talk about income disclosure statements how you actually make money how much everything costs uh, there are things that you may not be aware of and so much more to just kind of compile this into one and then additionally I would like to say how there are going to be timestamps in the description below so that way if there's a very specific thing that you want to refer back to or show to someone if they are interested in this MLM, you can do that without having to search for it. First though, we are gonna be talking about the products. So we're gonna scroll through some of these products right now. So this is what we're kind of getting at right now. Now again, right now, comment down below what you think. Just comment, just super basic. What is your first impression of these products as I'm going through? What do you think? Is this wowing to you? Is this really exciting? Is this something that you would go and spend your money on? Now, I'm again, this is my personal opinion. For me personally, this does not scream worth to join an MLM, right? Because with some products, I look at it and I say, okay, if it's harder to find this product somewhere else, I understand the enticement of this. But again, this doesn't even look like it's marked off as that revolutionary to begin with. Because you know, when it comes to some products, there's a lot of marketing when it comes to MLM based products is, that, oh my God, this is revolutionary. It's been developed here. You can't find it anywhere else. So therefore some people are more enticed to join the company through the products. And whereas with this though, it doesn't look like it's something that that is enticing. Like if I can go to a Claire's and get some of this. If I can go on Amazon, if I go to Walmart and get identical stuff for probably cheaper, that's a big problem. For example, hair mascara. Okay, the rainbow one, that's lit. That's fun as fuck. I would, I would mess around with that, okay? But hair mascara, okay, great. But again, there are stuff maybe done by L'Oreal as well that helps with like covering up grays or like bald spots and everything that's super duper affordable and has nothing to do with an MLM and probably is cheaper than this. Or apparently Flexi Sport is a product that they have. But again, like it looks like a regular regular ass hair clip. Like this is not something that is wowing enough to me. If I had, again, emblems aside, this is nothing that is essentially wowing to me that makes me want to join this company. And again, I am going to be flashing up a bunch of different products that I am finding everywhere else that are replicative of what this company is displaying. Just pretty much show you, you don't have to purchase through them to get the products. Now, one other thing I also want to say and kind of debunk as well, and we'll get into the more finer details about this also, is I hear a lot of people in regards to this MLM and others say that they purchase products from these people and from the promoters of Lila the Rose, they are doing it because they want to support a small business owner. And again, I would like to just get this out of the way. You are not a small business owner if you're part of an MLM. That is just not true or correct by any means. Now, again, unless you get really high into the company and you start able to like pay your taxes and file things like with an LLC or whatever, then we might be hitting a little bit of a different topic. But majority of people do not make money in MLMs and majority of people are not actual business owners. And so by still purchasing products from them, it kind of keeps... I feel like it still kind of keeps people inside of the system longer because they think that they have a customer which can keep them going still. And then additionally, it's also mainly majority of the time funding the MLM specifically and not actually in any way helping out the person inside of the MLM because most people don't make money in it. So when I tell you, please do not feel bad if you do not want to purchase products, you just decide not to purchase products from somebody, you are not killing a business. The business was already dead to begin with. So now we're going to look into host a style up. So this is another thing that they have that are their parties essentially. So a lot of MLMs and older versions of MLMs have kind of gone into this party perspective. Now, newer MLMs are going to host like events and tickets and 
pretty much claim that it's like a like a millionaire event or some networking bullshit. Whereas the older version of MLMs are gonna have a lot of these parties or they're still gonna try and keep that alive. And so with this though, you're able to host a style up apparently, which looks like you can get certain products and you are able to host a party with someone, which, okay. okay. In order to, to host a style up, you can fr make a list of friends, family, um, friends of friends, coworkers, and even frenemies should have great hair. Pick the spot. At home, at work, a friend's house, on a blimp, or even online. Collect the orders. Your Lila Rose stylist will do all the work. Don't tell her I said that. Um, be rewarded. Free 50% off gifts and exclusive. So apparently you get rewards for hosting. There, here's the problem why I think a lot of these style-ups are really messy and honestly unethical because it reminds me a lot of Mary Kay because majority of the time when you would do a Mary Kay event, for example, a lot of the times it wasn't really a relaxing skincare time. It wasn't something that was self care. It was embedded in the concept of if I get you here and show you the products, I can actually entice you to do what I do for a quote unquote living, which most of the time wasn't happening. But it was mainly at the end of the day, sales pitch. From just first glance, it looks like it's more enticing to sell the products because you can make extra income than just simply just joining their like extra program or purchasing products on them. Like you can do what they do, but make money and then get additional products. So by this, I truly believe that these parties are setting people up to be recruited into a system. Them. And I would like to show you later why I truly think that that is the main focus because there are heavy, heavy benefits to recruit people more than actually selling a product. So again, style up sells. It shows that if it's a thousand five hundred plus free product and your choice of twenty five percent of total, fifty percent of items your choice, and a special gift. So this is apparently what can happen. Um, full host reward tiers and prep list available for your personal stylist. Style up host and guests must be in the U.S. US residents. So it looks like this is what can happen if you have people sell a shit ton of product pair apparently at something that you host which again think about this who in the fuck is going to literally make or sell a thousand five hundred dollars worth of product in one night at an event majority of the time that probably won't be happening or even 300 for that matter it's very very rare for something like that ha to happen we're gonna click on the become a stylist category so this is what it says become a lively rose stylist start with 30 percent commission on all sales and then earn up to 45 percent on personal sales with additional bonuses perks and rewards no fees no quotas no inventory to hold you get your own personalized website and online business tools with no monthly fees which if that's the case then wonderful because that's good that means less that you have to spend up front in the MLM but now it says connect with other stylists to get all the training experience you need to be on your way to start a business so we're actually gonna watch the video that they show and then we'll dive into the starter kit compensation plan and then income disclosure statement hi I'm John Dorsey and I started Lilla Rose. Oh fuck, okay, so it's Lilla, okay, my bad. If, if y'all have been here long enough, it's almost been a year. Um, if you guys remember the Maverick, the collection, the, that, that MLM where I got, <laughs> I got absolutely jumped on for mispronouncing an MLM's name. <laughs> Good times. All right, Lilla Rose. Yes, Lila Rose with a Y, Lilla Rose with an I. I'm gonna tell you right now, hair products, hair clips, everything is for everyone. I honestly don't think mainly clothing or hair shit, I don't think that's gendered. Do whatever the fuck you want, live your life to the fullest. That's exactly what I want everyone to do. Here's my thing though. Quick question. All right. And I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just curious. Does this man look like he uses any of the products that he sells? You know, like what enticed him to do this? I'm just saying when I look at a business owner, I'm like, oh, what inspired you and got you really excited to make something like this? And with a lot of MLMs from what I've personally seen is a lot of MLM CEOs see the lucrative opportunity of making a shit ton of money off of people. Therefore, they will go into any sort of avenue because it could just make them a lot of money. So the product doesn't necessarily matter, nor does it have to have a passion behind it. As long as it's there, so that way they can profit off of the MLM scheme, then it's fine. That's just my personal belief and what I've personally seen with this. But I'm just saying again, now if he does, hey, correct me wrong, man, but I'm just saying it's, it's giving cash grab. <laughs> When you click the start button in this video, you might have been motivated with specific goals in mind. Maybe you're interested in additional income, you want to pay off debts or saving towards a vacation. Ooh, bingo. All right, you guys. So I love this and I, oh my God, I forgot to introduce this earlier. If you guys are new here or not in general, something I love doing and I've been trying to do more frequently with a lot of my deep dives or MLM videos is I have this lovely chart because I started realizing that for me, I'm a huge visual person and I need a lot of evidence shown in front of me of connecting the dots of why something is a problem, right? And I, I it's just that I understand. I understand needing to be shown proof. And so with that, I completely understand and hence that's why I actually made this chart. These are things that you can see in a peer 
pyramid scheme. Now, this is directly pulled from the FTC. If you need to double check, it's in the description below. But I actually put little red flags next to these things because I want to say, hey, wait a minute, red flag. This person just said this. This is what the FTC says that is representative of a pyramid scheme. What's false information? What's something that you should completely avoid? Now, this right here, false income claims because claiming and alluding to the fact that you can actually make good money with this, you can pay off debt or travel is completely false. Per the FTC, they state this. And also that's really misleading to make these claims and act as if this is really possible and potential when statistically proven you have a higher chance of gambling and making good money and a return. Most people lose money in MLM. So again, a CEO here who doesn't look like he uses his products at all or has any sort of passion behind it and then additionally makes false claims to you. Hopefully we can show you the other red flags to show why I personally think you should avoid this company, but this is another big one. Everybody has a different why. We want to be your how. I started my first company in 1992. I found early success, but then I fell into failure afterwards. I believed in my products. I just didn't have the answer on how to share them. I tried everything from infomercials, QVC, drug stores, department stores, junior chain stores, beauty supplies. Oh, okay, I have a theory. If someone knows this MLM or knows the backstory, please let me know. I need to look into this guy a little bit more though. But my guess, and this is what I've seen before, is some people that lack the capacity of marketing, don't wanna have the budget for marketing necessarily, and just want the more convenient way of misleading people in my opinion, they'd rather go through an MLM route instead of just a regular e-commerce website. Because a regular e-commerce website isn't enticing people to join and sell a products with the hopes of making an income with it. They are instead selling a product and having to prove that this product is worth you spending your money on. And so for this, it's easier because if you entice someone to simply join, then you have a lot of people purchasing the product in general that are inside of the system, not external customers. Because one thing I would like to say, if you can look and scroll through a lot of their social media and you don't see a lot of external customers, one, and you see mainly the people that have the products are the ones that literally are inside of the MLM, that is screaming pyramids game right there. What I would just like to say to this is, so it sounds like he may have gone with the e-commerce route, realized it was difficult and took a lot of effort, market research and more. And then he's like, ah, oh, damn, you know what? MLM sounds super good. And if I can just tell someone that they can make real good money with this, ta-da, that's just my, that's my guesstimate. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I mean, you name it, I've tried to sell it there. And that was exactly my problem. I mean, Lola Rose products are so different from anything else out there that when they sat alone on <clears throat> I'm giving myself a minute to show you guys. Different? Hmm, okay, that, that's a lovely choice of words. Shelves in some of the biggest stores in the world. It just didn't make any sense to people. There was just something missing, some essential element. And that missing ingredient, it was demonstration. There's no better way to demonstrate a product than through direct sales. Just by its name, it points you to one-on-one -on -one demonstration by sharing your experience and your enthusiasm about the product with others. To some, that might mean sharing our products at an in-home boutique. For others, it might be like a trade show or a vendor event or even simply just sharing your ex One thing I will be very clear about, do not in any way take your MLM products to trade shows. Those are spaces for people who are real small business owners and who are actually sharing their small business and trying to get out there. I really think it's highly disrespectful to, and again, I, I get it, many people don't know this, so I, if you don't know, full respect, I understand. The connection is still to an MLM, it's still to a business opportunity where we should be allowing people who are like crafting jewelry, handmade, making candles, all of that stuff, and actually developing their own business that is not MLM involved, they should have that space. And there should be space reserved for those people, not MLM-based companies. Again, use social media, and do I don't want anyone to use the MLM period, but if you're gonna do it, get on social media and do it. Do not take it to a craft fair. Excitement about it with a coworker over coffee. These are the things that have changed my life. They've changed my family's life and they continue to change the lives of others all across our country. At Lilla Rose, we give women and men the opportunity to start a business of their own just by sharing our wonderful products with family friends and co-workers. The truth is, Lola Rose is not really like most direct sale companies. I mean, we're very open, we're pretty laid back, and we don't impose a lot of rules and regulations. And most importantly, we're one of the very few companies out there that don't charge monthly fees. At Lola Rose, we offer you a variety of ways to work the business so that you can choose what's best for you. 
Little Rose is a wonderful way to try your hand at owning your own business with very- Okay, so again, false advertising is claiming that this is a way to own your own business. Again, I would like to also reiterate the fact that when it comes to owning your own business, there are many aspects and things that are involved with owning your own business. And when you have to wait on a CEO to tell you what products are coming out in your own business, it's not your own business. And actually, um, a really good friend of mine, Chelsea, I love her so much. She actually said, if you can get fired by a CEO or by a company, it is not your business. And that's actually something that's showed in their policy. So you can be terminated for any reason because they find you violating something or whatever. So it's not your small business or your business because I mean, you, no one's sitting there getting ready to fire you in your own small business if you own something like that. That just doesn't happen. So again, I will, I mean, to me, the bar is in hell, the bar is on the floor, but but yeah, no fees, monthly fees. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be any random fees or hidden shit because that's unethical to be hiding that from people. That's good, great, happy about that. But again, I'm not impressed by this company. Very low startup costs. To join us, all you have to do is purchase our $125 starter kit and you'll get over $300 worth of products and business tools to start your business immediately. Our starter kit provides you with enough product to show our diverse line to your friends, your family, host your first boutiques, and start collecting orders. We're gonna stop that right there because I think that is definitely good enough. So, um, so this is the starter kit. So it says it all starts with ready, set, style. So five product catalogs, five fill-in business cards, 25 order forms, Lila, uh, 25 Lila looks, so host slash opportunity brochures, a tabletop banner, flexi clips, hair accessories, ex uh, six essentials. You purchase an optional fast start pack for $500 and receive additional benefits and total $315 in value. But this next starter pack has a shit ton of products, but it's almost $600. That's very, very expensive. I'm so sorry, but not an inch of that tells me that that's $600 worth. I think the price and something I will say, this price looks like it is so jacked up. So one thing I will actually like to say is I did look around and there is not an income disclosure statement. And so if you guys don't know, income disclosure statements are pretty much a way of showing you, hey, this is how much you can possibly make in an MLM. This is how much a lot of people are usually making throughout these ranks, how long it might take, etc. Just pretty much showing what you should expect income wise. And again, majority of the time we see this representation in all these other studies. However, it's super, it's better and nicer to have if the company actually displays it. Now, there's no legal requirement in the US for you to have an income disclosure statement. Statement. All I am going to say though is this business has been alive for a very long time. What I'm seeing is if you want to be completely transparent with the income and potential, you should have an income disclosure statement. And that is again right there a huge red flag if they are not going to display that data to you because that is pretty much gatekeeping information that's really important to make an educational decision. It's a huge red flag if they are not going to show you income because again, screw MLMs in general, but there's some where at the least they show an income disclosure statement, which is good. We need that data, but not showing it is a huge red flag. So now that we've already looked at the starter kit and income disclosure statement, let's look at how you make money. So I would like to show you, this is a very, very small compensation plan, which is so fascinating to me because majority of the time you usually see something larger. However, as we go through this, I would like you to, to keep in mind, if majority of the bonuses and money making is through recruiting and getting a team, then we can very easily state and inference that there is a dependency on recruitment, which is something that is unethical. If you can't quote unquote, run your own business by simply selling products and doing well, that has a huge red flag. Additionally, if you were someone that is in this company or maybe you were interested in it, uh, if all the top leaders don't have downlines and they can't succeed, again, that means that that they were depending on recruitment. If all the people that are at the top in this company are strictly having a downline and that's how they're there and there's no one that just does sales on their own, again, huge red flag as well. Retail gross profit. So personal retail sales, it looks like you can get 30% commission, which is actually pretty damn good. I've seen companies do only 10 for like $100 products, which is fucking insane. So 30%, good, that, that's not bad at all. Then it shows if you get actually $200 plus in sales, you get 35% of that. If you sell 501, you get 40%. And if you sell over a thousand, you get 45%. Okay, so it looks like the more you sell, the more you could possibly make. Then group volume. Now this is when it actually kicks into where a team can be really helpful. Retail sales or group volume. So if either one of them hits this, then you can get the percentage of profit. So if you get 2,500 plus in team sales, 40%. 4,000 or more, 45%. This is another thing that I would like to highlight. Right here it says, earn even more by building a team. Again, alluding to the fact that you can earn even more and a decent amount of money at that from building a team and not strictly sales. A real business owner is going to be selling you products and making great money through that. An MLM, or honestly, an MLM disguised as a pyramid scheme is going to pretty much entice you, hey, um, build a team and get people interested in selling the same hair clips you are, 
and you make money off of them. And that's where a lot of the times the money money is, is in a team. So this is just pretty much showing that there, it looks like after once we hit supervisor, there is a requirement for a downline. Otherwise you will not be able to hit that from what I can see. Because again, logically speaking, most people don't make a lot of money. But if you get enough people to believe in this lifestyle and believe in what you have to offer them and have enough people selling the same shit that you do, you are the one that benefits heavily off of them doing it alone while they're not making any money. Now again, looking at it, you can get enroller bonuses. And the more enroller bonuses you get, and the huge massive increase in income you can get simply from having a downline. Again, I would like to add required legs right here. It clearly states that you have required legs, meaning required people that you have to have on a downline. Additionally, management bonus they have. They also have a sponsor bonus. They have enroller bonuses. Both these bonuses are going to require a team. Therefore, that is a huge red flag. That is a huge amount of the bonuses and ways of making money dependent off of getting people and human beings into the system. This is 100% an emblem I would avoid, uh, absolutely. 40% fast start bonus. So what this says is, you can also earn a 40% fast start bonus up to $200 on each of your personal enrollees, first product orders, and a smaller percentage deeper into your team. Ask your personal Lila Rose consultant for more information. So pretty much what that's saying is you, if you get started, you can earn a 40% fast start bonus because you recruit people and personally enroll them into the system. Is there a sales bonus, personal sales bonus to start? I don't see that. So throughout our executive management bonus pools, executive directors can be eligible to receive a share of 1% of the company's total bonuses volume for the year, which sounds really enticing. But again, when you look at the requirements to hit executive director, you have to have a deadline for that. So this is completely untouchable to you if you don't recruit. Additionally, this other last one says 1,500 shopping street and $250 product pack, flexi of the month incentive awards. So Lila Rose has a monthly, quarterly, and annually incentive award program. Awards range from set a flexi of the months to a 1,500 retail Lila Rose shopping spree. Pretty much saying, oh, if you do really good and you, you know, succeed, you can get a lot of surprise shopping sprees and bonuses. Again, I would also like to say, notice how the shopping spree is for Lila Rose's products, not necessarily any other money that can be given to you, which if you bust your ass and sell a lot of products for the company, they made a lot already, meaning they shouldn't be having it to where the shopping spree is strictly through them. It should maybe be 1,500 towards something else. All in all, this entire company I think is extremely unethical. And I think that again, all of the compensation plan right here clearly shows that there's a big dependency on recruitment from what I can see. There's no income disclosure statement, which is super shady. There's a misrepresentation of the money potential and how much you could earn and how it can change your life. And then also the products, if we think about it, a lot of the products do not have actually any great market value. And there's no way to actually sell a product like that unless it's super duper cheap. And think about this, how many people are asked actively looking for something like this all the time. Probably not as much as you think. Um, it just does not look like something that is currently in the now, and I do not think it would do well. So I truly think if you bought a $100 starter kit or anything else, you would end up losing a lot of money, which is very sad, but also what we see statistically with most people who join MLMs. So I'm gonna clear that right there. I hope you guys are able to learn something from this and learn about this new MLM, or hopefully stay away from it, because I personally believe that this is a huge, huge problem red flag. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you guys have any other MLMs you want me to cover. Please, please, I have an email, send it my way. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, any other scams or things going on. I, I would just, I, I love diving into this stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.